Yep, there he is. There he is, guys. Woo, good fish here. Oh, what I got, what I got. Is this a, what is this? What is going on, everybody? You read the title right. I'm on the wood bridge today, and I am eating whatever I catch, at least one species. So, we're going to see what species I catch first. That'll be the one I eat. Let's go. Oh, one of my favorite spots right there. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, I'm on. I'm on, just like that. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a catfish, too, buddy. That's a catfish, for sure. That's a catfish. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Oh, blue cat, son. That's an eating size one right there, too. Man. Woo! Glad to get him. Let's go, baby. Get on back out there. Well, he was running with it. Is he still running? Oh, he's still running with it. Tighten him up. Let's see. Nope, I ain't got him. Don't have him. Swing and a miss. All right, baby, come on. There we go. There we go. Sweet spot. There goes a the bite. There goes a the bite. He might be on. He was pulling, pulling pretty hard. Oh, good fish here. Oh, what I got, what I got. Is this a, what is this? Is this a Bilgar? Yes, it is. Daggummit. Our little old spotted gar. <laughs> Woo! Little old spotted gar. That's all right, though. Still a catch. Get on back out there. Now, since I caught that catfish first, I threw that gar back. So that means I'm eating catfish. So what I'm catching on this bridge, that's what I'm gonna be eating. That gar was a little bit too little anyway. By the time I'd have got him hauled open, ain't a whole lot of meat on that guy. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this, it is old brim. Well, I mean, he swallowed it, too. Hey, there we go. More to eat. Woo, yes, sir, baby. Nice old bluegill right there. Ain't no monster by no means. He swallowed it, so he's definitely going in the pot. So this is what happens when you don't go tackle shop and then you run out for a while. Had to tie my lid up like that. Just whatever I got. I got bullet weights, regular egg sinkers on there. <laughs> Ain't even got no swivels. You do what you got to do sometimes. Drop back down there again. See what else is hanging out down there. They loving that chicken liver, I can tell you that. Something's trying to run off with it. Oh, he is running off with it, look at Oh, here we go, here we go. Woo, what we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, it's another garfish. It's another garfish. Well, we just catching amongst everything today. But boy, these are by far some of the smallest garfish I have caught. And he was working on swallowing it. I want y'all to look at the teeth on that rascal right there. Woo, son, little chompers, huh? You hear me, chompers. Oh, away you go, mister. Try that again. There you go. There he is. Oh, that's good right here. What we got? Oh, look. I got a stick. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there he went all right. <laughs> uh, good job, man. Good job. Get on over there. All right, y'all, packing it up, getting on up out of here. Threw the two guards back. That's just too much work for no meat on those little guys. Got the catfish, got the brim. How we gonna cook that up? Let's see. All right, y'all, check this out. I went ahead and I left that catfish whole. Skinned him right on up. Good him out. Whole fryer right there. And same thing with that old bluegill brim. Obviously, we're just gonna leave him whole. 
batter him up real good. Stick him in some hot oil. Whole fried catfish. Y'all like whole fried catfish? I normally do fillets, but then when they get about that size right there, ain't nothing better than a whole fried catfish, in my opinion. Now, while those are frying up nicely, we're about to do something I've never done on this show before, but what goes good with some fried fish? How about some fried green tomatoes, y'all? These are hard to come by down here right now, too, I'm here to tell you. I was able to locate some. I said, man, that'd be great with some fried fish. You guys actually voted on it not too long ago. Well, we about to make it happen. Woo, boy, nice and green. That's going to fry up beautifully. So we're just going to go on and cut us some. All right, so we got some flour and we got one egg. Give that egg a little mixing. Going to season that flour up with some Everglades. Check on these fish. Boy, that brim's done. Oh yeah, that old catfish ain't too far behind it. We're gonna take the tomato, we're gonna go in that flour, we're gonna go into that egg wash, and we're gonna go right on into this crispy Cajun fish batter seasoning. Right on in that hot grease. Haha, <laughs> won't y'all look at that. Got that fried catfish brim, fried green tomatoes, and that old Cajun batter season. And I got some yellow squash right there we went ahead and cooked up last night. Like I said, I just love my smaller catfish fried whole like that. Mmm, a lot of meat on them. Hey, let me know down below if you like your catfish, the smaller ones. Fried up whole like that. Look at the pretty meat on that thing. Woo, thick meat too. Oh man, that's delicious. That hit the spot right there. Crispy, meaty. Cooked all the way through. Seasoned very well. Got in that old Cajun, that old Cajun fish fry batter. That is very, very good. And got that beautiful old fried green tomato. Come on, who doesn't love some fried green tomatoes? Give me a big thumbs up if you eating them fried green tomatoes. Mmm. That right there. Now that's the star of the show. I guarantee it. The flavor is just unbelievable. Good Cajun flavor, good spices. Not hot, just good spices. And then the taste of that fried green tomato on top of it, it's just got its own distinctive flavor. We all know that. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this video. appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in, watching me fish off of that wooden bridge. And them catfish are delicious. So are them fried green tomatoes. Be sure to give them a try. You're definitely going to love them. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Share it for me. Whatever you got to do, help get the word out. We're growing, and it's because of all of you, and I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all take care, and we'll see you.